Ugh. Uh, I, 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 I need a haircut. Kanda. Kanda? Kwanda. Kwanda. No, it's not Kwanda because there's no Q U. Kanda. Candace. If you guys, if you guys didn't know, it's a Q and A. It's it's kind of a Q and A. It's like nobody's asking these questions, but these are these are very popular questions that I've found Q and A's to answer. Q and A. Q and A. Q and A. Um. Okay. So pretty much what I did was I I did some research and I found a bunch of different questions that uh, people typically comment on YouTubers. Uh, comment section yeah. when, when they're doing a Q&A and so instead of doing a Q&A ourselves I was just like why don't we just answer these questions mm -hmm. and so we're going to answer those questions uh, have you ever met someone famous? no no? Uh, actually yes I have I met Bear Girls. do you know the guy Rag and Bones he made the song Humans mm -hmm. I'm only human yeah. I ran into him um, have you ever fired a real gun? Hmm. Yeah, I've used C four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like roller coasters? Love them. I hate them. Really? Can't do them. Why? I don't. Who wants to get in a metal box and get thrown around on a rickety track? Okay, those are. You know what, dude? It's part of the thrill. Uh, do you like scary movies? Love them slash hate them. Hate them. Yeah. I just. I'll be honest. I think that I'm a little <laughs> favorite holiday. <laughs> favorite holiday. I feel like everybody always says Christmas. Mm -mm. Not mine. No, it's not mine either. I love Christmas. It's a. It's but a, it's not for like the presents for me. It's like just being around family. I just love the like. It's a holly jolly Christmas. Like that vibe is just. You don't like Christmas music? I hate Christmas. Oh, God, this guy. Because it's bah humbug. <laughs> I love Christmas, all right, but I hate Christmas music because it's so over. It starts Thanksgiving Day. And doesn't I mean, stop till the day after I Christmas. I feel like a lot of people put themselves in that situation. Like, of course stores are going to be playing Christmas music. They want to bring in people to be who are in that vibe to buy their Christmas stuff. So you have to assume that that's going to be something that they're going to do. Yeah, not me. Uh, after Thanksgiving, I avoid stores like the plague. That's uh, smart, because yeah. if you're not willing... Like, if you go in there in the purpose to buy Christmas stuff... And you hear Christmas music, it's like, okay, whatever. But, like, if you go in there to buy your groceries and you're being attacked by freaking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer every 25 seconds, probably isn't ideal. Yeah. But I get where they're coming from with it. Yeah. Okay. Favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. Fourth of July. Yeah. I love the fireworks and the festivities and the barbecues and the, the communal aspect mm -hmm. of it. Like, beach, mountain, or city? I think we have the same answer. I actually don't know. I want to say we have the same answer, but mountain. mountain. Yeah. <laughs> we do have the same answer. Yeah. I enjoy a day at the beach, but I'd rather go camping. If I had to choose, like, my ideal location, it would be a mountainous region. Close to the beach. On a beach. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, forest, mountains, peaks. My ideal living place would be Hawaii. Well, 100%. Yeah. Or like Hawaii, a... Like or a boar or something. Tuvalu. Have you ever cried at a film? I'm, I'm in theaters or just like a movie period? I think just in period. Like, period. like I said, I'm a little bitch, so yes, I've cried at a film. I have cried in films. Marley and Me. Oh, Marley and Me? Mm -hmm. um, I, I was can, also like eight when it came out. So. I can name the three, the, no, the two that I cried on. The three, because I the first time I watched. The Greatest Showman. The first That's time I watched it, I cried. I don't know why I cried, but I cried. Um, the second one, was, or the first one I've ever cried on to was uh, The Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. I've never seen that. Oh my gosh, you gotta see the movie. And then um, I Robot with Will Smith. Marley and Me. Mm -hmm. Seven Pounds with Will Smith. Ooh, that's a good movie. I Am Legend. When the dog died. Uh, what do you call your grandparents? Do you have any like specific names for your grandparents? For my dad's side, it's just Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma and Grandpa. For my mom's, it's Gam and Papa. Gam, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a common but uncommon one. Yeah. And we called my grandmother on my mom's side Nona, and my grandfather Grandpa, mm -hmm. and then Grandma and Grandpa on my mom and dad's side. Yeah. What is the one item you can't leave home without? I think we should not include phone. No, I wasn't gonna say phone. Either. Or keys or wallet. I guess it can include like an item that's in your car. 
There's one item that's never left my car since I got it, and that's the ultrasound of my son. The what? The ultrasound of my son. Oh, word. Yeah. Um, what is at the top of your bucket list? Write a bucket list. Mount Everest. Mount Everest? Damn. My that's... brother and I have wanted to do that since we were kids. But at this point, I think it's changing because I've seen so many videos on Mount Everest about like how Mount Everest isn't even worth climbing anymore because it's like so much garbage and human waste and stuff that's left on there and not to mention bodies mm -hmm. that I feel like it's not even like worth it at this point. Uh, which sport do you like? Basketball. You're a basketball person? I played basketball, yeah. I also like golf. I love golf. It, it is not picking a sport an option? I'm yeah. not a sport person. That's fine. I have one that was embarrassing for like other people another kid that tried to do something to me so I was like in elementary school right and this kid we'll call him John got it this kid John right we were walking together and then we went our separate ways to do something I don't remember and I turn around and he's running at me like stiff arm like this and he goes to clothesline me and I literally just stand there and his arm connects with my neck and he falls on his back. Oh, like? Like, I didn't move an inch. <laughs> he just went to clothesline me and it was like a brick wall. It was weird. I have a couple, like, embarrassing moments. I think the most embarrassing moment was I was in uh, middle school mm -hmm. and there's this kid. I don't remember his name. He was a jerk, though. He was just picking on somebody. I called him out on it, and he was just like, you know what? I'm going to beat your ass. And I was like, all right, let's do this. You know, and I'd never been in, a, in like, a fight before. <laughs> and uh, we get out to the, like, the bus lines, I guess. And uh, <laughs> Classic bus line oh, fight. Oh, yep. classic bus line mm -hmm. fight. And all of a sudden, I just see this kid come out of nowhere, and other people are like, oh, sh it's going down. And I was, like, with my friend, and I was like, all right, bro. Hold my back. And my friend's like a big football player kid, like mm -hmm. looking like freaking 13, 14 year old, and he looks roided out already. And uh, I handed him all my stuff, and I was like, all right, let's do this. And this guy comes at me, and he puts his hands up, and he goes to try to punch me. And the first thing I did was just smack the <laughs> him. <laughs> but I jumped around, and I was just like, yeah, I got you. And everybody was like, what the fuck, Nick? <laughs> what did you just do? And then he laid my ass out. Yeah. And at that point there, I was just like, ah, I'm not, I'm not losing another fight. Yeah. Um, the second most embarrassing moment was there's this kid in the bathroom, and I'm sitting at the urinal. There was the dividers, but it, they weren't big dividers, you know. And this guy walks in. He wasn't special ed. He was just weird. And he just walks into the bathroom, drops his pants completely, and is taking a piss at the urinal. And I had friends in the bathroom waiting for me, and I'm just pissing. And for whatever reason, I just reached over and just smacked the kid's head. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, dude. I did. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, I know a grown men that still pulled their pants all the way down to pee. What? In elementary school, you guys probably remember kickball, right? Oh yeah, we all oh, love kickball. kickball. Um, I was pick last. Because I didn't care. It's <laughs> fair. Uh, we were playing kickball and it was my turn to kick. And I went to kick it, and this kid, we'll call him Billy, okay, stole second base and was going for third. And as I kicked it, it, yeah, right into his crotch. Oh, yeah, you out. Yep. And then, oh, you're on his team. I know. Hold on. Oh god. Hold on. <laughs> it bounced off of him and went towards my way. And somehow, me not paying attention, I slipped on the ball and landed on my back. I don't know how it made it all the way between second and third base, back to in between me and first. Apparently, I kicked it super hard. Super hard. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I landed flat on my back. Um, have you ever? Yeah. 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 I've been in physical I've fights. I've been in physical yeah. fights. Can you swim? I can swim. Um, I, I was on a swim team. Where are you? Yeah. Shave your legs? Nope. No. I didn't have enough leg hair <laughs> Makes at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just glistened in the water. Yeah. Uh, I drowned. 
So I haven't yeah. been in the I haven't been in the water since. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself? Where do you see us in ten years? Uh, looking back, ten years, at this exact moment of looking forward in ten years, of looking back in ten years, of looking forward in ten years. <laughs> I don't know, man. You have a ten-year-old. I do. I will have a ten-year-old. You have a ten. I will have a ten-year-old son. Um, maybe even another kid. I don't know. Wow. I don't plan on it as of right I now. I hope I have children within the next ten years. What is your ultimate goal in life? To find an ultimate goal in life. Ultimate goal in life is to be happy. Be find happy. Happiness. But not necessarily just chase happiness, because I feel like if you chase happiness, you'll never find it. Why did that Bob Marley song come in my head? Uh, American Idol or Dancing with the Stars? American Idol. I can't dance. American Idol. Yeah. What would you do on American Idol? What song would I sing? Oh, it's a singing. Never mind. Yeah, what song would you sing? Probably a country song. A country song? Yeah. Yeah, either a country song or... I think I'd go with something like... Like an F. Like an Ed, Ed Sheeran song. Yeah. You know, I think I could, I think I could pull it off. Yeah. It'd take a lot of practice. Fame or riches? Or richness? Richness? I don't think that's right. I anyway, think it should be riches. Yeah. Fame or riches? I don't know because either is gonna mess with you up. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Either you're gonna, it's, it's all do gonna you, get to your head. Do dude. We, do you just get it or do you earn it? Because I think that's there's a difference between yeah. the two. Because if I have to earn it, then richness. I think okay. If, being, if I have to earn it, riches. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I don't know. I think if I earn it, fame. Yeah. Because with fame comes the ability to kind of do some good. I mean, money can do a lot of good for those who don't have it. But I also think that fame brings this aspect of being able to bring attention to things that money can't fix. Yeah. You know. That's fair. So, Bring your I mean, attention to a topic that you think is really important. Yeah, 100%. And you'll have that voice to do it because people follow you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, yeah. and I think that that would solve things that even with fame, if, if you had a, a voice strong enough, you could then get people that also are like minded and want to support that to maybe help donate into that aspect. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't always assume that. Yeah. So. yeah. Favorite board game? Cards Against Humanity. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if not that, then chess. Yeah, chess, chess or Monopoly. Is, is that a board game? Chess, chess is a board game, 100%. Yeah, chess is a board it has a board, game. so it's a game. It's, and it's a game, so it it's a board, board game. So it's a game? It, is, it, it has a board, so it's a game. Next question. English. What <laughs> physical activity do you enjoy doing? Working out. Masturbating. <laughs> yeah. What other languages do you speak? Uh, a little bit of sign language and a little bit of German. Uh, so I'm trying to teach myself Spanish. Oh, let's see if I can remember. Mi do lui ped English is... Italian? No. Is, uh... Sidarian? Elvish? Uh, what pisses you off? Ooh, a lot. Ignorance. Ignorance. Nothing pisses me off more than ignorance. People talking about things that they don't understand, like somebody's personal life. Ignorance. Yeah, it's, yeah. Ig it's okay. ignorance. ignorance yeah. it, it has to, it, it, I think that a lot of it goes back to ignorance. Yeah. I, I get it when people don't understand that they're being that way. Oh, 100%. But it's like when people know they're being that way. Or like when you're tr when people are trying to hold you accountable and you're just ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> no. Another one. I don't know where y'all are getting these invisible indicators at. What do you mean? What's that mean? Turn signals. It's too easy, dude, to turn on your rights right blinker or your left blinker it's so easy please do it it's it's it makes it so much safer to be on the road so many accidents it's happen even, yeah it's not even just that though it's like the easiest thing you could do yep so why not do it beer beer no, <laughs> no question beer. i'm not a wine guy i if i go to olive garden i'll drink wine yeah okay yeah. go to my italian roots yeah what age would you love to retire 20. no I'm two years late. No. Age I would like to retire. I'd say like 40. I don't know, because even now, I'm just restless when I'm not working. I, yeah. get, I get mad. I get bored I get, and cooped up. Yeah. And I hate it. I get mad. Yeah. I'm like, Ugh. I have to be like at least doing something to pass time or to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Productive. Yeah. Yeah. 
If your personality is an animal, what animal are you? Squirrel. <laughs> I'd say I'm a squirrel. Say you're a squirrel? I'd say I'm a squirrel. I would say... Determined and fierce. But, but don't have a great attention span. <laughs> uh, I would say my personality as an animal, capybara. Oh, I like those things. <laughs> capybara. Why? I don't know. It's just, this is what I feel. You just feel it. Yeah, okay. I can I just like, feel it. I like it. Can you commit to one person? Damn straight. Yeah. I have no worries with commitment. Yeah. People who do confuse me. Are you afraid of small spaces? Dang straight. Especially if there's bars involved. Being locked in like a little cage. Like a like a Oh yeah, like a dog kennel. You know, like a dog kennel. Don't even mess around. Like a locker? Yeah. Like that to me is I could see why. Terrifying. I could see why. Like uh um, Nope. I used to have a fear of small spaces. Um, and then it just like went away. Really? Now I have no issue with it. I don't know why. I've had so many nightmares where I'm just like locked in a cage. Yeah. And I'm just like, this is the worst thing ever. Yeah. Is anyone in your family in the army? Not in the army, but my grandfather was in the navy and my sister's in the national guard. My brother and I are in the army. There you go. Yep. My brother's actually overseas right now. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you for your support. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Four or five. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Really young. How many countries have you been to? One. One. Yeah. I was supposed to go to Germany. Can you touch your tongue with your nose? Nope. No. Nope. That's all I got. I knew we were going to try, too. That's why I put this one in. Favorite memory together? Favorite memory together. I got a lot of good memories with you, brother. Yeah, it was a, it was like, we've only known each other like a couple months. I'd have to say it was our first grave together mm -hmm. where literally the entire night was just like dropping risky jokes with each other. Thinking Trying of, like, to figure out each other's like comfortability. <laughs> like, or like yeah. limit. Yeah, or boundaries. It, yeah. I would say so. I, yeah. That was the best night yeah. because we went like... There was Entirely a point <laughs> at like four o'clock where we were just going full throttle at each other, and it was just, <laughs> yep. it was bad. Yep. Have you ever liked the same person? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we had this similar taste. Yep. Um, I think we currently like the same person. I think we currently, I think, I think we, we currently like the same few people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I just, it's like, whatevs. Yeah. Hey, the best man win, bro. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That sounds so bad. It does. But we don't mean it in, like, a bad way. I also don't think that either of us are looking for a tie-down anytime mm -hmm. soon. So it's more or less, like... No, I just got out of relationships. Who gets them first and who gets them second? That's <laughs> <laughs> more or less how I'm looking at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I'd keep working. Pay all these women not to sleep with Tabor. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, brother, okay? <laughs> Flame moth. <laughs> I would I'd keep working, honestly. Yeah, no, I would too. Yeah. If you were the president of the world, what law would you approve? President of the world? I don't think I'd do borders. Uh president of the world? Mm hmm uh, I would bring every country together. If you were offered to become a superhero, what power would you, what would your power be? We've had this conversation. What was yours? Time. I've, I've changed my time. Time control. Cool. Perfect recall. I had this conversation with a girl on Tinder the other day. Yeah. It's like the ability to just like remember every detail of everything. So photographic memory. No. Photographic everything. Photographic smell, photographic hearing. Okay. Like, everything. Perfect mm. recall. Being able to remember, like, what it felt like to be in the womb. Or, like, the first, like... Breath you took. Breath you took. Or, like, like the perfect recall. I think that, that would be the dopest ability. Ooh. Mine's easy. Well, what's yours? Recall. Or, Actually, I thought about this, but I can't remember what it was. My symbol would be an upside-down music note. Ooh, there you go. 
I got this all planned. You know what? Marvel, hit me up. <laughs> Gigan. Gigan. Yeah, Japanese for time. Gigan. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? No. Nope. Never been able to. Can't do I it. I also haven't sat there long enough to try. Yeah. Really. I'm not patient. I get bored by it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see, like, the attraction to it, honestly. I tried to do, like, a, like, solve this Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. Like, you order, you put in one of the sides. Yeah. What the color combination is you have, and it can solve it based on a, a number of moves. I couldn't even do that. What was your last dream about? It was a lucid nightmare. Oof. Those are intense. My last dream was a kind of an interesting one. Is I was sitting on a pier, like a, like a dock, and I had my feet in the water, and it was nighttime. So this sounds like a nightmare for you. No, it was it was it was a pretty peaceful one because it wasn't water; it was more or less space. Okay. And so. Like, it was interesting because, like, you would, like, dipping your feet down mm -hmm. would actually, like, dip into space like it was... Like dark matter? Like water, like, you know, like dark matter. But, like, it was interesting because, like, the thoughts that were running through my mind were that of, like, what was, like, radiating in the environment around me mm -hmm. as I touched it. And it was just like a, it was a bizarre feeling. Can you juggle? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. How many can you juggle? Just three. I can. I can't juggle. We actually had to do it in elementary school. Really? Yeah. We were forced to. Clown college? <laughs> hey, it's an option, dude. I don't know how much it costs, but it's probably cheaper yeah. than medical. So it'd be fun. I think that going to clown college with your friends would be actually pretty fun. They're probably so strict about clown college. <laughs> They're probably it's like, like boot camp. <laughs> you don't mess around in clown college. Like you forget your red nose. Oh, you're getting messed you're up. Getting messed up. It's like boot camp. Can you tap dance? Why are no? No, I can't. These are like weird, weird. Like, I guess is it a skill or is it a talent? I guess the skill being able to like refine and perform and like practice these. Yeah. Have you ever been on TV? I have. I've been in a commercial. I walked past the news one time, and then didn't know I was on the news until I was mid-frame, and then tried to awkwardly shuffle off. <laughs> I've also been on the radio. You know what? Let's do this just so I can beep them out. Yeah. <laughs> There's just f I love f uh, I'll f kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, f is good. Just because you can say it in so many different tones. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Or like, you're being a bitch, dude. How many pillows did you sleep with? One. Three. One. I have three pillows. Have you ever... No. Nope. Not no. been featured in the news? You've ever been on the news. I've been on the news, yeah, but I've never been news. featured on the news. Uh, can you stand on one foot for an entire minute? Ready? Set. Go. If you can't stand on one leg for one minute, I think you need to practice. Can you impersonate someone famous? I can't do someone famous, but I can do a character from Family Guy. Does Elmo count? I can do Herbert. Oh yeah, you did do yeah. Herbert for me. You want a piece of candy? <laughs> you want a popsicle? Can you do 10 revolutions with the hula hoop? Yeah, but I doubt we have a hula hoop. I, we don't have a hula yeah, hoop. Yeah, we don't have a hula hoop. I doubt I can't them. jump rope to save my life. I can't jump rope. I don't think I can do 10. No, I, can do I 10. really don't think I could do ten. These hips don't lie, girl. What's your nope? Yeah, nice try, YouTube. <laughs> nice try, dude. From up the road, you're not getting my information. What's your birthday? November first. June first. Mm -hmm. That's as much as you're getting. What's your star sign? Gemini. Scorpio. No. Nope. Gemini is the sign. That makes sense to me, though. Why? I don't know. It just you seem like a Gemini. Is that a bad thing? Saying I got split personalities. No. Did you just call me crazy? More or less that... <laughs> more or less that there's a balance between your personality. That's fair. What's your favorite color? Blue. Black. Is black a color or is black it's a shade? shade? I count it as a color. Okay. I hate when people are like, it's a shade. It's a shade. Though I just said it's a shade, but you know what I mean. It's still my favorite color. So if you think it's a shade and it's not a color... 
What's your lucky number? Five, because it's, it's the number of number or letters and lucky. I don't have a lucky number. I'm unlucky. Unlucky? Yeah. Well, then it's seven. No. What? No. Why? Why seven? Because there's seven letters and unlucky. Don't come at me with that. Or six. Don't come at me with that. For the letter of, for the number of letters and number. Do you have pets? I do. I have two dogs. I have a cat. I have a German Shepherd in a yellow you know, lab. I don't have any pets. My roommate has a cat. That's fair. Do I count as a pet? Because sometimes I feel like I can't take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> nice try, guy up the road. What's your height? These are oddly specific questions. Like, these went from, like, oh my gosh, fun to know, to, like, I, I want to know I want to know what. I want to know your details. Yeah, I want to know your bank info. <laughs> I'm 5'9". I'm 5'11 and a half. What's your shoe size? 10. I'm not answering that. <laughs> Why? I have a big foot. What's your shoe size? What's your favorite pup? What? What's your favorite pup? I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know what that means. Can like I have buses? a favorite person, like private transport? Is it talking about like buses? I guess so. Or like subway or like train. I've never been on a subway. I've been on a train. Tram. Trains are pretty cool. Trains are pretty actually. cool. I like trains. Did you know that the train in Vancouver is actually like all the stops is voiced by Seth Rogen? No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. One hundred percent. Oh, you're lying. You gotta look that up. What talents do you have? So a talent is different than a skill, right? Yeah. A skill is something that you refine. A talent is something you have. Talent. I'm good at being annoying. I'm good at constantly disappointing. I feel like I'm pretty good at making people laugh and I cheering can, people up. I can agree with that. Yeah. I can agree with that. Skill, something that you've refined. Um, I think that I have a visionary complex. I can vis like envision things pretty mm -hmm. easily. I can take an idea and turn it into a reality pretty easily. I can, can hold a conversation with anybody for hours. Yeah, I can. It, I'll admit it's easier to make these videos with you than it has been with other people in the past. Yeah. So I can I can attest to that. Yeah. Are you more of an artistic or mathematical person? Artistic. I hate math. I'd have to say I'm split in the middle, but my personality tends to lean a little bit more towards the artistic. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. It's like I'm logical, but yeah, creative. Yeah. What's your favorite animal? Wolf. Dog. Just dog. Yeah, I like just I dogs. dogs. I don't like little dogs. No. I'll acknowledge little dogs. If you like little dogs, I'll be like, yeah, your dog is cute. But if you have like a bigger dog, like a lab, German Shepherd, Husky, Rhodesian Ridgebacks, fan favorite, um, then and you try not to let me play with your dog. I want to play with your dog. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? Having one? <laughs> uh, Missouri. Uh, Texas. Yeah? Yeah. What part of Texas? Uh, no idea. I was working a job and was not paying attention. That's fair. But we have already, answered, we've already answered this one. Uh, where would your dream holiday be? Like vacation? Yeah. Ooh. Japan. Fourth of July at Disney World. Uh, what food do you love the most? Steak. I'm not a... Okay, I like meat. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. And you're gonna, like, really question this. Okay. I like one of two different types of foods. Mm -hmm. I love lasagna. I'm Italian. Spaghetti's better. A degree, agree to disagree. Or we could agree to agree that spaghetti's better. Especially on the second day. Or like a balanced salad. I love I do salad. like salad. I, I do love. Like salad. Honestly, a lot of people are like, salads are like cop-outs for people who don't want to look at the menu. I'm like, are you kidding me? This has Parmesan cheese, Caesar dressing, grilled chicken, and freaking like little tomatoes. What's your I love pizza steak. topping? Fat amount of cheese. Pineapples. What song do you like the most? And it belongs there. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Uh, currently, right now, it is uh, "Will" by Joyner Lucas. 
Uh, Tadal, I think it's by uh, Masago. Uh, what film do you love the most? Right now, uh, Five Feet Apart. Ooh. The Greatest Showman. That's a good movie. That's such a good that movie. movie. Have you ever seen Five Feet Apart? Mm -mm. It's really good. I'll have to watch it. Favorite alcoholic drink? A lemonade. I love lemonades. I think lemonades is just... It's... Iron Horse Quilters, Irish Death. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Favorite non-alcoholic drink? Coffee. Ooh. Lemonades. Like a pink lemonade. Yeah. I love pink lemonade. I think it's great. Favorite TV show? I'm stuck on Lock and Key. Or, uh, Lock and Key? I think it's Lock and the Key. The new one on Netflix? Yeah. That's a good I show. love that show. Um, it's written so well. I don't really have a favorite TV show. I don't really watch I TV. I binge watch a lot of TV shows. So. Not at The Office. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I love The Office. Supernatural. Supernatural is a really good one. Yeah, I love Supernatural. Favorite band? Favorite band? I'm gonna get for this one. The Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Actually, or are you kidding? <laughs> no, I love them. I'm not them. judging you for it. Um, I love them. <laughs> I love them. Reminds me of the hangover. I can't. The Jonas Brothers are in town this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite band? I would probably say uh, either Nirvana right now or uh, I Prevail. Ooh, I Prevail is a good one. Yeah. I like how they're actually coming out with their own stuff instead of covers now. Like they got I will still to... always enjoy their covers. Their covers yeah. are good. Their covers are really good. Uh, do you want children? I have a kid, so yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I want kids. I want more, but not right now. Uh, understandable. Not right now. Are you good at any sport? Basketball. I'm broken. No. no. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I'm both. I'm both. Yeah. I think that I'm like moody, in the sense of like. Sometimes I need people around, and other times, like, I think I work better in a group, but I work more efficiently by myself. I love being around people, but I also like to be alone. You like your alone time. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah. understandable. What's your best achievement? My son. Damn. Damn. No. <laughs> best achievement? Graduating high school. Okay. Nobody thought I was going to. I didn't think I was going to. Yeah. Can you curl your tongue? Yep, I can curl my tongue. How can people not do that? I don't know how to understand how people can do like the W. Oh, I can't do the yeah, W. I can't do that. Do you eat meat? Yes. Context? Steak. <laughs> Chicken. If you're uh, watching this video, thanks for joining us. Thank you guys so much. For tuning in and us answering these questions i know it wasn't a lot we didn't really do too much but that's okay it just typically we're we're quarantining you yeah. we're social distancing we're right next to each, we're actually not right next to each other we're in a different house he's entirely. cgi yep see i'm just a figment of your imagination i don't exist he doesn't exist yeah i do i exist he does exist i have feelings he has feelings if you guys have any sort of comments feedback or questions for us that we can answer. 100%. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks, guys. He's doing it again. This has been Locality One ASMR. Thank you for joining us today. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay, bye.